Okay, so today we're going to cover how to build an urchin extruder. So you start with uh, the most critical part, of course, the stepper motor. And what we have here is a angular thrust bearing. There's three components. So slide that onto the shaft with the tighter end down. Now one of these rings will have a uh, tighter fit on the shaft than the other and that's the one that goes on the motor side. So you just slide that down to the bottom, the ball ring, put a little bit of grease in there if you haven't already and then the other end of the thrust bearing. The next component is the worm gear. So slide that on. I like to put the grub screw on the motor side and tighten that with an allen key. Now what you want is that the bearing is compressed against the front face of the motor and that will protect the bearings inside the motor from the thrust loads from the urchin. The second part of the gearing system is the worm wheel. So that slides onto a shaft. So here's one I made on my lathe. And again tighten the grub screw. If you're doing an OEM version, what you'll want is an M4 screw. I use the pan head because it's a nice small head. Put one bearing on and then tighten your uh, press fit on there. Now you'll see that, that the little insert that I have there is a bit shorter than uh, the knurled section. So what you'll need is a small spacer, use a stack of washers to make up that space. Slide the gear onto there again, as before. Onto the spacers and then tighten at the correct depth. Now with this one you'll have to be a bit careful. Once you've tightened that grub screw it will damage the threads on the shaft and it will be very difficult to get that off and so you probably won't be able to recover your bearing. But anyway, I'm going to make a normal version. Alright, the next part, once you've got your printed chassis, this is one printed on an Ultimaker, Alright, um, you just want to slide your motor in and that should be a little bit of a tight fit into the boss there. Keep, take note of where you want your wires to run because you'll need your correct orientation. And then, some M2.5 by 8s. Spring washers and washers. Now what you'll want is a screw, spring washer, washer. So these lower two screws are a little bit more important than the top two in that they set the compression distance for the pinch wheels. So if you want more compression, just add an extra washer in here or other spacer. And if you want less compression, you can just take out the spring washer. So I recommend a ball end Allen key for this job just because it's not quite a straight tighten. Tighten that into there, and last one.
The next part is to take a single bearing and with the aid of, I like to use a long M4 screw for this. Just push that bearing into place on that side. Take your shaft and slide it down and you may have to just wiggle it around the gear in this case. Now with the OEM one, because you can't take that bearing off very easily, it's uh, probably a good idea to slide that in before you tighten up the motor screws so you get a little bit more wiggle. Put the other bearing on the other side and then the third bearing goes in that slot straight and then take a pin, four millimeter pin or screw and just push that in there and that should be just a light press fit. And now that's quite sufficient for most prints of fine uh, printing. If you're doing a lot of retractions I'd recommend rather than this pin, if I push that out, I use a uh, long M4 screw, put a couple of uh, washers on there, push that through, washer on the other side, and I use an M4 wing nut just because it's easy. And what that will do is with these uh, washers will hold these bearings in so that the shaft can't fall out. I was originally going to make a cover that goes over this side, but I haven't quite gotten around to uh, designing that completely yet, So, but the washers work a treat. Then of course the final uh, part of the piece is your J-head, that just slides in there. And if when you've got your wires off there, just run them through the little gap there, cable tie, tie them to the motor, and you're good to go. For mounting, what you'll want is some um, M2.5 nuts, it's an M3, and what you'll want is take that, find it in this little slot, and then you basically, usually it helps to have a little bit of uh, pressure on this, this slot's a little bit loose actually. You can just push that nut into there so it lines up with the holes and you'll want four nuts in there. If uh, those nuts are a little bit loose, our old friend Loctite 401 will make sure that they don't run away. A bit of glue and then line it up with the hole and just repeat for the other four sides. And I almost glued myself on camera, but still good. Just push them into place. And we're set. You've built an urchin. It takes no time at all. Thanks for watching, guys.